Do you believe in miracles? Do you really believe in miracles? Because personally, for me, I think I sometimes have to ask myself that question when my eyes are closed. That way, I could be most the most honest with my answer. But really, what exactly is a miracle? What's a miracle to you? What defines a miracle and not just a coincidence? For some people, a miracle is landing a job when your back's against the wall, with no opportunity in sight. And some, for others, a miracle is a condom working properly so he doesn't get the side girl pregnant. For, for some, a miracle is simply something happening at the moment that they need it the most. But who's to say that isn't just a coincidence? What makes it a miracle? What is a miracle? I'm a server in a restaurant, so I think that makes me as normal as it comes. And different days you meet different people, some interesting, others not so interesting, some that can possibly change your life and others that you'll never see ever again. But I'll share this one story with you. It was a Sunday in November. It's a Sunday morning brunch service, so it wasn't super busy, but it was consistent. And I served this one table that I've served a couple times before. It was this gentleman with this lady friend. I think it's like his girlfriend, wife, I'm not too sure. And I've served this guy a couple times before and the interaction between us was very minimal. It was always just like, I take his food order, I take his drink order, I bring his food to him, I bring his drink to him. If he wants a refill, I get it for him. If he wants to order something else, I do that. But it's always been very minimal. It never went past that. And then one day, on this Sunday, this Sunday brunch, I come in and I see him again. And I'm like, I know this guy. He's very straight to the point, quick, easy table. I'm gonna have a good day. And it was funny, hours prior to that service, I had been contemplating like, what is real in life? You know, some people believe in a metaphysical as it being as something real, religion, spirituality. I think I'm in a time and at an age where it's really hard to convince people what is real and what isn't based on perspective and perception of those perspectives so I serve Warren that's his name I didn't know it prior I learned it after this interaction that we had so with this thought on my mind going into work and then seeing Warren have, knowing I had seen him a couple times before and I had served him a couple times before I was kind of stuck in my head, and I think a lot of people could tell at different tables, except for Warren's table. He was the only table that kind of resembled what I was going through at that moment, what I had been going through, thinking hours prior ahead, the thoughts that were going through my head. And I could see him 
you know, his posture, his the way he sat in his chair, ate his food, and stared down at his dish as if he wanted no distraction so that he can get the answer that he was looking for so he could find what he was asking for so he can hear and see what was already in front of him. And it wasn't until seconds later that I realized that he and I were both asking the same questions. So I don't pay attention to it though at that moment. I go to my other tables and I take care of them. I come back to his table to drop the check because that's what you do. And I do a little magic hat trick with my hands. You know, he pays in cash. I go back and break the cash. I come back. I take the money from that I need from his cash and give him his change. But the way I do it, I do it in such a way that he's following my hands. But it's as he's doing that and as I'm moving, I'm also talking to him, exchanging words to him. So he's following my movement, listening to my words. He's almost in my possession. It, and at that moment, when he allowed that vulnerability to allow himself to not only just be in his world and not only to fight to make sure he didn't get distracted so he can focus and get to that answer that he was looking for is when I knew something was different today. And immediately Warren started talking to me about miracles. We started discussing the war on life, good, bad, positivity, negativity. What you put in is what you receive. Warren gave me his vulnerability at that moment to break his distraction. So that he can get his answer that he was looking for. And because I did that for him, he in return showed me what was already right in front of my face. We start talking about God and how the enemy is working and is winning and is strong. To the point that the second he starts to mention positivity, God, after talking about how the evil in the world is winning, it shook the evil in the world. The positive words that he was discussing, discussing, caused that negativity to react. You understand? He starts speaking words about God, words about life, love, and nurturing. And it was so much positive energy that the negative in the world had to do something about it. What happened seconds later after us discussing, talking about positivity, God, and miracles, the miracle showed itself. Things started to crash. Things started to break around us. Out of nowhere, the restaurant, like I said, wasn't busy. It was consistent, but not loud, you know? So when these things just started falling and breaking around us, because we were discussing these things, at first I thought it was a coincidence. I thought it was just a child breaking the glass, running around because his parents weren't watching them. At first, I thought it was a coincidence because I just thought maybe Warren was just a Jesus-loving young, um, young spirit trying to motivate others. But then it went a step further.
Warren saw this miracle happen and it brought him to a place that he needed to be. And I've never seen such a reaction in such a short time with all these events happening because of what he was saying. So seconds later, we finished our conversation and realized we just witnessed something together. You said this, these things started to happen. And he says the negativity has been affected and erupted, disrupted. We were talking too good. We were fighting the good fight for that brief moment and all the negativity in the world wanted to shut it down, but it couldn't. We were being cleansed at that moment, he and I. And what made it extremely ironic was the second he stepped out of the restaurant and turned around and said, Frank, we witnessed a miracle together. His tears started to fall from his face. And at that exact moment when the tear hit the ground from Warren's face, the tears from the sky did the same. It was raining in California in November on a Sunday morning when all week it's been bone dry. <laughs> what changed? You can say it was weather patterns. You can say it was science. But I felt something in that moment. And Warren did too. That interaction and that miracle allowed us both to get what we wanted and what we already knew existed. Because it was right in our face the whole time, we just couldn't see it because we were too distracted on the question. So now, do I believe in miracles? Of course. Of course.